Well, hello friends and welcome to another Ask Zach. Today we are going to talk about Baxendale conversion guitars and mandocellos. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about uh, Scott Baxendale, a little bit of his history, how I found out about him, how I, end I ended up getting this mandocello, the process that they go through in remanufacturing, uh, you know, an old guitar. So just to kind of give you the, the nickel version uh, but a little over 20 years ago, Scott Baxendale uh, pioneered the uh, the process of taking old Harmony K Regal Silvertone acoustic guitars that most of them were made in Chicago in the same factory, and they had uh, ladder bracing on them. And he uh, converts it to where it has uh, X bracing and completely redoes the guitar, refrets it, you know, resets the neck, all, all this stuff. So we're going to go into all of that. And, uh, and it's, it's fun. It's a, it's a great story. It's a great story of these guitars kind of being redeemed. So while you're thinking about it, uh, please go down in the corner and hit subscribe if you haven't done it already. Also, if you've been enjoying the channel, I appreciate you supporting it because that's what keeps it going. So there's tip jar information in the description. You can find merch at askzack.com, like this A to Z shirt or a coffee mug. Also, there's Friends of Ask Zach, which is a way to support the channel on a monthly ba basis. You also get uh, exclusive lesson content from me. Uh, you get some Ask Zach guitar picks, and you get to see the episodes early without commercials. So... Check that out at askzack.com. All right, let's dive in. As I kind of alluded to, what I really like about this is it's kind of a, a story of redemption. So these old guitars that were, uh, you know, kind of upper level student models, you know, they, uh, they kind of got relegated to wall art or put in a closet or put underneath the bed because they, a lot of them are, have ended up being unplayable because the action has gotten so high and, you know, and plus they were a little bit thuddy sounding with the, the ladder bracing on them. So these guitars get, got a new lease on life because of the process that Scott Baxendale uh, performs on them. So just to, you know, kind of dive into what he does is he takes one of these guitars. So this is a, a, a K that, uh, this, now this is a mandocello, but he does this on the guitars also. He takes the, you know, either the top or the back off, but the point is, is that he gets to the, uh, the bracing on there. And like I said, there's ladder bracing on the back and then also on the top. So just the bracing on the top, he removes that and he puts scalloped X bracing on there. That's his own design. Then he, uh, well, probably before that, he pops the neck off and the neck is going to be reset, but also it's going to be, the frets are going to be removed and the fingerboard is going to be planed down. And what you can do in that process is these old necks have kind of moved away. They're going to move to a degree. And so you can deal with any irregularities in the fretboard at that point. So then he refrets it, puts a new nut on here, puts new nice tuners on there. Uh, the guitar gets a new bridge and saddle and the neck angle you know, is, uh, is set to the optimum level for, uh, for best playability and tone. And so what you get is you get a guitar that's probably, you know, close to 50 years old. It's old wood. Uh, usually, you know, it's, you know, many times it's solid spruce, maple, mahogany. Sometimes you have some other woods used. Most of the time the fretboard is Brazilian rosewood. And that's just kind of what was used for all level of instruments, you know, even like the Dan Electros had big, you know, slab Brazilian rosewood fretboards on them. So you get a really good old guitar that now starts to compete with vintage instruments made by, you know, Martin or Gibson. Uh, and again, it's just so nice that these old instruments are given another lease on life instead of being relegated to, to wall art or, uh, or just being uh, put underneath the bed, they get to be played again, and uh, and what wonderful instruments they are. You also have the green aspect of this, uh, which you know you have these instruments that are now being able to be played. That no spraying of finish had to be done. Very little wood was needed for the bracing, so it's it's just kind of a a very uh, friendly 
uh, you know, for, on on that aspect. But I, I think more than anything, I like the fact that these old guitars get to have a have a new life. They get to be redeemed. So, how did a little bit about Scott? Uh, Scott, you know, has been a, a repairman and builder for many many years. He worked for George Grun here in Nashville for a period of time. He was in Dallas and owned the Mossman guitar brand for a while. And during that time, he made, this is just a fun side note for me because I'm a James Burton fan. He, uh, he made the Mossman acoustic that Burton played on the uh, Roy Orbison Black and White Night Live uh, you know, video. So, uh, you know, of course, he plays his Paisley Telecaster quite a bit, but he also plays this beautiful uh, Mossman guitar that Scott built for him. Later on... Scott got into this, um, you know, process of uh, of rehabilitating or remanufacturing, what have you, these uh, these old guitars. And he was in Athens, Georgia, for a while, and then just at the end of 2021, beginning of 2022, he moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Which, if you haven't been there, you ought to check it out. Uh, it's a great, beautiful place. And uh, and in Santa Fe, he's uh, he has his a facility there, but he's also, he's working with Stay Gold Guitars, which is a shop there that specializes in, you know, high-end acoustics and vintage acoustics. So they are uh, partnering, and so he'll be offering his instruments for, for sale through Stay Gold. So you can check their website to see what's available as far as his conversions. Also, I believe you can still send in your K Harmony Regal Silvertone Acoustic, you know, from the 50s or 60s also. Uh, yeah. So let's go a little bit into this mandocello. So this is kind of um, a, a lesser, you know, I mean, it's not, it, it's an item that uh, that Scott doesn't do as much, but he does this on this certain model K, which I'm sure you've seen these around. They have, you know, they have a small, you know, kind of parlor size body, but what really kind of makes them not a great six string acoustic is they're pretty narrow at the fr at the uh, at the nut here. And so what Scott does on these is he turns them into mandocellos. And uh, I, of course, uh, I've always, I've been a mandolin player, but I've always wanted some type of lower tuned mandolin, you know, type instrument. And so that's why my first Baxendale conversion is a, uh, a K mandocello. So the only thing he really does different on this, of course, is he plugs the headstock and then redrills it for eight holes, and then of course you know you have a, you know you have a, a, a custom made uh, bridge and saddle here. So a, a true mandocello would be tuned down to C below the E on a guitar, and he he sends them to, uh, where they're tuned D. Uh, let's see. It's D-A-E-B. That's how he shipped this instrument. But I kind of liked it tuned up a little bit higher. And so I tuned it up to E, B, F sharp, C sharp. And if you'll notice here, all of the strings are unisons, meaning they're the same pitch and same octave, except for this uh, F sharp is, is an octave. And so it gives it a little bit of a kind of bazooki uh, 12 string you know kind of sound so here I'll just play a little bit more on this Really, really pretty sound. Yeah, a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of volume, a lot of resonance. The, uh, the changing on an instrument, when you, when you take it from ladder to X bracing, what it does is it kind of, take some of the, the focus away from the mid-range 
and it gives it kind of more high highs and low lows. It kind of opens it up. So some people like ladder bracing, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it, it does open up these guitars, and X bracing was kind of reserved for higher end instruments because it took more labor to do it than, than to just put a couple of pieces of wood across the top in a ladder bracing fashion. So that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of, again, I've got this tuned, you know, E, B, F sharp, C sharp, uh, really have enjoyed playing it. And this has really inspired me to, uh, you know, at some point find a, a six string guitar to send off to have converted. Cause I've really, really enjoyed this a whole lot. And, uh, you know, to have the guitar sent off and have it done, uh, you know, you need to contact uh, Stay Gold Guitars, and uh, I believe the process is around a thousand dollars. So, because of all the heavy work they have to do, uh, and also it just depends on how much has to be done to your instrument if you're sending one in. They can also do a pickup. This has a K and K Mini pickup on it. I need to say that. Uh, I had a really good experience with Scott and Stay Gold. I did not buy this new from them. I bought this, uh, a guy had had this for like a month or two and he sold it on Reverb and I bought it there. And it had some issues when it arrived. And, uh, you know, we agreed, the seller and I, you know, agreed that we would send it to Scott and have him uh, look at it. And Scott ended up taking care of everything that was on it uh, under warranty and it was great to deal with as were the stay gold guys so highly recommend uh both of them and uh, you should really check them out uh the instruments are just really fun i think it's it looks like one of the more popular models is the harmony sovereign to have that uh, converted to x bracing and all the other mods all right well appreciate you watching today's show hope you'll uh Check these out. They're uh, quite fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.